morning. Thank you for coming in. Michelle. And this is our itinerary for today. All right. Looks like we got a busy day. We do. Thanks. Hello, ladies. Hi, welcome to Smoky Mountain Pregnancy Care Center. I'm Jenny Golding, the Executive Director. SMPCC has been serving Western North Carolina since 2001. We have two free medical clinics, one in Macon County and one in Jackson County. We are a nonprofit Christian organization dedicated to protecting life. We educate, encourage, and empower men and women facing unexpected pregnancies to choose life. We offer free and confidential services in a non-judgmental atmosphere. Come on in, let me introduce you to some of our staff. Prenatal vitamins. These are vitamins we give to all of our clients if you are not already taking some that the doctor has prescribed. Hi, my name's Elaine, and I've been a nurse for over 30 years, and we wanna take a look at what it takes to become a nurse sonographer. The training is very extensive. We work with the national organizations. Uh, I trained under the National Institute for Family and Life Advocates, as well as Innovative Imaging Technology. When we complete that training, we go through a minimum of 75 ultrasounds with a registered diagnostic medical sonographer. Our focus is to empower the mother, father, and family to bond with their baby and choose life. With the ultrasound, we're confirming the pregnancy. We are checking for the fetal heart motion, which I think is one of the most exciting parts of it to have that mommy and daddy see that heartbeat. We're also estimating the due date. Statistics show that 92% of the mothers and fathers that are able to see their baby on the monitor choose life. We give this to all of our clients because it has some really good information. It, it talks about what foods you should eat. It talks about things you should avoid. Hi, my name's Annette and I'm a nurse stenographer at Smoky Mountain Pregnancy Care Center. And I want to tell you about a client that I had several weeks ago who I will call Jamie. Jamie was enrolled as a full-time student at a local school when she went to the school nurse to say that she thought she was pregnant. So that Jamie had decided to have an abortion if she was pregnant. As soon as I finished the call, the staff in both centers began praying for Jamie and the, and the decision she would make. The following day, Jamie came into our center and I did the pregnancy test. When I sat with Jamie and showed her the results of the test that it was positive, she said that she did not feel like she could have the baby be pregnant and continue her studies. So I offered her a free ultrasound. When we went in the ultrasound room, she asked if she could see her baby on the screen. As I did the ultrasound and she saw her little baby's face and nose and saw that little heart beating, she started crying. And she said, I don't think I can have an abortion. So as I finished the scan, we talked about her options and ways in which that we could help her, that prayed with her and gave her a free Bible. And just continued to pray for Jamie that she you know, would make the best decision for her and her baby. Uh, in a couple of weeks, she called us back to say that she had decided to carry and parent her baby. She signed up for parenting classes because she said she wanted to be the best mom she could be. I'm so thankful for our prayer partners and for God's answer to prayer. Now that you've heard from our nursing staff, let me introduce to you our parenting program called Earn While You Learn. This program helps educate our clients to be the best parent they can be. They earn reward points that can be redeemed for maternity and baby items enabling them to offset the cost of raising a family. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Doing good. How are you? Good. Good. Um, life with toddler or tantrums? Tantrums. All right. Great job. Put the video on. When I first came in, I was 18 and I was really scared. Um, didn't know what to expect. Um, came in for the pregnancy test and it was positive. The staff, they, you know, they assured me that they were gonna be here through everything. Um, 
I have three girls. And seeing them on the ultrasound, you know, their little heartbeats, little hands and feet, fills you with so much joy. The Earn While You Learn program, they, uh, it's really helped me a lot. Um, my favorite videos are the pregnancy trimesters, the newborn, and the milestones, just seeing, you know, the progress as the baby grows. And by getting the points, you know, I was able to get the supplies I would need, diapers, formula, you know, things that they don't come cheap. I still do the videos though, because it's not just about, you know, pregnancy and the delivery and raising your kids. There's so many more videos about credit cards, financial relationships, um, behavioral, you know, correcting your children and I'm grateful for the Pregnancy Care Center and all that they've helped me and my husband with and I highly recommend it to anyone. Hi, I'm Becky and I'm your Community Outreach Director. My job consists of reaching students, churches, and the public with a clear message about the services we provide. You can follow our outreach events on our Facebook page and on our website. However, we are commonly present on college campuses and at fairs and festivals throughout your community. As a faith-based organization, we encourage women and men who are facing unexpected pregnancies to choose life. Our desire to influence that choice leans heavily upon the power of the Holy Spirit. Smoky Mountain Pregnancy Care Center offers free and amazing services, and it is my honor to help stand in the gap for women and men who are afraid and unsure of what their options really are. God is stretching our faith and this ministry as he leads us to reach out to younger and younger crowds. In the Bible, we find in Titus chapter two that women are assigned this job to teach what is good to the younger women and to the younger men. Our organization is a strong advocate for family and for healthy relationships. We are so excited to see how God leads as we offer these new programs to our middle and high school students. We have this vision as members of the body of Christ to take a stand and support our youth who are facing huge challenges in their choices about sexuality, their identity, and who or what they give authority to in their lives. SMPCC invites our supporters to join us as we present the foundation of Jesus Christ to these students before they enter our medical clinics, meeting them right there on campus. Thank you all for coming and taking a look inside the Smoky Mountain Pregnancy Care Center. We welcome anyone to come take a tour of either of our clinics. We encourage those that can to partner with us. Prayerfully seek how God would have you do that. One would be praying for our ministry. Two is monthly financial support that we need. And three is the dedicated volunteers to help us do what we do. It takes all three for us to be able to continue to do what we do.